get ready start gentlemen today let us talk about education there are three kinds of education purely primary secondary and higher education the primary education is the education that one gets up to the age of 10 the secondary education is the high school education and all such education beyond this stage is called the higher education in the first place primary education is that which is imparted to the boys and girls at a very early stage in large number of cases the student learns by actions of the teacher and tries to follow the same thus a teacher in the primary school stage should be more concerned about conveying the knowledge through actions and figures rather than regarding and writing but it has not been so during the last decade the english medium education has been putting more and more pressure on the young minds with emphasis being on reading and writing he is burdened with lot of homework and the student is left with no or little time for play it is a fact that the student becomes disinterested to education and this is the reason for a large number of students dropping out of the schools of course there are other reasons for this also in olden days the students at this stage were taught great stories which had high moral values and the minds of the students were filled with national pride and honor they used to know the difference between good and bad and that he should not do that which affects the people around all these things make a boy a good citizen at the high school stage the main thrust has been on the learning of various subjects of daily life such as geography history and sciences by this time a student would have developed the capacity to reason using the knowledge imparted by the teachers it is the duty of the teacher to rouse the passion for learning in the student and provide him with an opportunity to explore the knowledge available at hand some field work would certainly educate the boys and girls to know the value of hard work and enjoy the fruits of labor but the present day student once again is not able to withstand the knowledge imparted through volumes of books and the system of examination has been such that it only tests the ability of getting a topic by heart never during this important period a student is encouraged to read the test books either due to the fact that the teacher is left with little time to rush through syllabus or that the parents are anxious to measure the knowledge 
in terms of marks a parent of the institution is very happy in any of its boy or girl secures a rank in terms of marks he may be good in theory but very poor in practice many elders feel that this system of education damages the intelligence of the student and does not in fact enable him to learn somehow or other the student comes out of the institution with more marks but lesser knowledge the next stage is the real place for a student to fulfill his thirst for higher knowledge if a person has real interest he would be able to taste the essence of learning which in some cases spans over a decade get ready start gentlemen today let us talk about education there are three kinds of education purely primary secondary and higher education the primary education is the education that one gets up to the age of 10 the secondary education is the high school education and all such education beyond this stage is called the higher education in the first place